You guys, uh, you guys know this place? Or this one than this one? This one, right here, more specifically. I went there today, if you didn't guess. Because in Canada, we still have Toys R Us. Apologize to my fellow American Toys R Us kids. I bet you will never guess what's inside of this bag. What's that? Did you say Pokemon cards? Wow, absolutely correct. You guys know me so well. You guys like my homemade coffee holder? That'll show all Pokemon love, even Spiro and Machop and Weedle, right? Friggin' A, bud. What is going on, my fellow Poke Enthusiastic Elite Geeks and otherwise equally epic nerds all around this crazy globe we're spinning on right now? Hope you all are staying safe out there, for realsies. Right here, enthusiastically coming at you from my Pokemon cave, aka my Office of Awesomeness. Office of Awesomeness. As I so enthusiastically usually do. And on today's episode, I went to Toys R Us. <clears throat> In all seriousness, with the cost of some current modern sets skyrocketing to just astronomical, unforeseen, asinine prices, I guess one way of putting it, I figured it'd be in my best interest to go and uh, pokey pick up a few packs that I uh, that I enjoy from current modern sets before they go from like six to sixty dollars each. And then I don't know, that, that was a joke, but you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, man? Cough. Unbroken bonds, X Y evolutions, hidden fates, burning shadows. Cough. That's just my uh, personal pokey prediction. You want to see what I got from Toys R Us? It's like Mary Poppins bag. First thing, one or two XY evolutions. Now, uh, I've been cracking into some of these on my live streams, and I'll tell you, pulled a few spicy things, at least one or two, but the remaining of these I'm gonna put in my personal uh, sealed collection. And of course, a couple of unbroken bonds. Just another set I uh, highly recommend you super scoop up, especially if you enjoy Charizard hunting. Because I do. And last but not least. And of course, the set that is the bane of my existence on this channel. A bunch of BS. And no, that is not an acronym for Taros Manure, aka bullshit. No, I am of course talking about Burning Shadows, which contains the ever elusive uh, Rainbow Rare Charizard. I don't even like saying its name. I feel like it brings me bad luck every time I say it. But I love it so much. So Rainbow Rare Charizard, Rainbow Rare Charizard, Rainbow Rare Charizard. Burning Shadows, XY Evolutions, Unbroken Bonds. And of course, last but not least, some hidden fates. All four of these sets obviously inclusive of some sort of uh, lovely orange fire lizard that we all thoroughly enjoy chasing. No? Some of these bad boys right here. Again, guys, just a couple modern sets that I recommend picking up before they potentially, you know, go up in price a little bit, especially if they're sets that you've been enjoying opening, especially if you enjoy hunting rainbow rare Charizards as much as I do. Shining Charizards, Charizard in general. If I had a dime for every time I said Charizard, I'd probably have a few, a few Charizards. Speaking of Charizard. Real men wear pink. It's light pink, okay? Oh! All right, all right, all right. Gotta, uh, gotta be your own biggest fan, you know? Gotta support yourself. Oh yeah! Good job, Trey. Thanks, bro. Okay. All right. Oh, come on, man. That is awesome. Yo, that's dope. That's pretty clean. Yeah! Christened it with a first burp. This is super comfortable, nice and lightweight. Oh, I'm not I'm not even gonna front, that's pretty hard. Go uh, super scoop up one for yourself. You know? Two cool stoys in a pool. Hey, you over there. You uh, you a fan of Chazads? Alrighty then. Anyways, friendos, as usual, nothing too crazy on today's episode. Just uh, making some recommendations in regards to some, you know, current modern sets that I think might go up in price a little bit over the next little while. That uh, if you enjoy opening, you might wanna get your pokey paws on them before they, yeah go up or don't i don't know who knows maybe they do maybe they don't hey did you guys see my new sweater quick psa by the way not that psa like a public service announcement actually quick speaking of psa shout out to the homie tcg revival for this spicy slab super scoop up recently what a gentleman an actual quick PSA though, I am, uh, I'm gonna be moving soon. Um, I'm actually relocating to another place, but uh, that means the Office of Awesomeness will be obviously relocating for nonetheless, trying to make the most of it, trying to make the best of it. There's always a Pokemon silver lining to a certain extent. The new Office of Awesomeness will have like a lot more space, which I'm really looking forward to, but just wanted to give you guys a heads up and let you know, I'm gonna be doing my live streams as much as I possibly can up until that time period where I am moving. So just letting you know and uh, wish me luck on my move. Anyways, guys, without further delay, we have a Hidden Fates Gyarados tin and we got four packs of Burning Shadows and we're gonna do a uh, value versus pack battle. A total of eight Charizard hunting tickets, so uh, let's see if we can bag ourselves a big, bad, fire breathing lizard. Shall we? Alrighty then. Round one. Oh, yeah. Not a bad thumbnail right there. Alright, let's do this. First things first, let's uh, retrieve some hidden fates packs. Oh, yeah, get the skin off. Once you pop, the fun don't stop. So sick, man. I'll safely retrieve him from the plastic later. And of course. One, two, three, four, I declare a super spicy rainbow rare Charizard slash shiny Charizard hunting war. 
Let's get these bad boys out of their waste of cardboard. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah. It's time to da -da 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 do this pack battle. My uh, sushi just got here and I'm gonna eat really fast. <laughs> Delicious, excuse me. All right, let's do this. First pack. Mark Shadow, Burning Shadows pack. Can we have something? I ask this every single episode, and it would be nice to be answered with, yes, Trey, you may most certainly have a Rainbow Rare Charizard if you like. You can have a pack code right there. I'm gonna give it to you guys afterwards because I have to uh, remember what I'm doing here. I've been opening up too many varied packs lately. We have a Water Energy. We're gonna put it off to the side. We're gonna look at it this way. We're gonna get a Eel. You have a Avocado Electric Roll downstairs to eat right now. Buffalant and a Simpor and a Hacky Sack Merrill and a Porygon and a Charmander and a Morlock and that thing right there and we got a reverse hollow Zygarde out of focus and now he's in focus and, and? Alrighty then and the pack code there it is There it isn't next First pack of hidden fates the rumor around pallet town is uh, the mu packs are where the goods are at so Let's see if the rumors are true, shall we? We got a hoo to start us off right here. Man, my camera is struggling today, probably because there's a bunch of trinkets in the background. One, two, three to the back, and then we're gonna look at this energy card right here, which is <gasps> some grass. And then we're gonna flip this around because I know how to open up Pokemon cards, I swear. We got a Sabrina's suggestion. I suggest that she gives me something good. Shajesh? Did I say Shajesh? Charmeleon, Bay Misty. Hoo and we got a Clefairy. Hey camera, uh, we're over here. The packs are right here, I'm telling you. Come on. Slow. We got a Pikachu. Is this for real right now? Come on. Yeah, uh, let's just do this. Oh, boom shakalaka. I will take that right off the hop there. I will take a gabite and a holographic Brox training. That's leave it or leave it. Shout out Dragon Shields. Not too shabby for our first pack of Hidden Fates. And if you don't like it, you can gabite me. <laughs> Not funny. Second pack of Burning Shadows. Ho-ho, -oh. come on bro-o. -oh. Hook us up right here if you wouldn't mind. I'd be super stoked. Hydro pumped if you will, if uh, we got something. We're gonna look over there. Camera's gonna look at my cards. I promise this is gonna work, I hope. Here we go. We've got another water energy. We're off to a great start, just dousing our fire, hopefully fire poles with some nothingness. We got a Simapore, and we got a Noctowl, and we got a <laughs> Electabuzz, and we got a Venipede, and we got a Sandy Gast, and we got a Morlol, and a Crab Brawler, and a Stuffle, and a Reverse Hollow Token tomorrow, and <gasps> get in focus, and <gasps> I told you, just a bunch of bullshinotic. Is what it is though. And a pack code for my polka peeps. There it is. There it isn't. Next. Mewtwo, how do you do? Second pack of Hidden Fates here. Come on, hook it up if you wouldn't mind. Almighty cat looking psychic creature. We got a Psyduck to start us off. I think I seen something. You guys might have pokey peeped at it as well, but we're gonna hope for the best. Sometimes that's how it goes. You know, you see like a reverse hollow. I'm going to mega punch my camera if it doesn't cooperate today. We got a Graveler, we got a Farfetch. Gonna get leak slapped if it doesn't, fo there we go. Perfect, thanks Cannon. It's cause I'm pulling him off to the side. All right, there we go. We got a Jinx and we got a Psyduck. I'm gonna Magic Carp, <laughs> star you. And let's go back here, that might help. We got a slow poke, in focus, out of focus. Today's a struggle, but guess what? Boom, shaka laka. All righty then. Suddenly the focusing problem isn't such a bad thing. Leave it or leave it, awesome possum, man. Yo, we are, uh, we're doing not so bad on the, on the Hidden Fate side already, but as expected with Burning Shadows, just a bunch of BS. Next. Third pack of Burning Shadows. I would, at this point, would be happy with pulling anything from it, as I usually am when it comes to this set. I mean, I'd also be happy if my camera would just be like, hey man, you wanna cooperate? All right, perfect, that, that'd just be awesome. Here we go, darkness, just like my soul. We're gonna flip it around and wouldn't, you know, we're in focus, kind of, sort of, but not really. This is the struggle today, man, I'm telling you. Too many things in the background. We got Seedra, we got Baldi building dumbbells. I got this, I swear, It's I've opened up Pokemon packs before. We're gonna get real close. There we go, maybe this will solve the problem. We got an Espa, and we got a Pan Sage, and we got a Hacky Sack Mail, Charmander. We got Oddish, I'm just gonna ignore that it's that it's doing this. Here, come over here, there we go. Alolan Ratata. Alrighty then. Next. Second last pack of Hidden Fates, and honestly, this is the winner winner chicken dinner uh, TCG variation of the day. Yo, did I just see something else? Are we just getting banger after banger out of Hidden Fates? Are we gonna pull a hat trick right now? Three pack hat trick, we're gonna focus. Perfect, psychic, yes, I psychically foresee my camera's gonna struggle right off the hop. Uh, maybe not. I'm gonna punch my uh, my microphone here though. I'm gonna touch that, perfect. Missy's Determination, Pokemon Center Lady, we got a Metapod. Hey, there we go. We got an Eevee, we got a Caterpie. Paris, Paris, we got a Snake, we got a Psyduck with a headache, we've got a G-Bro dude, and and in focus, last pack. <gasps> a 
I'll start me. Uh, you know what? I, I've pulled a few of these already, and uh, it seems to be a reoccurring GX card in this set, but still a banger. I'm, uh, I'm even going to sleeve them. Next. At this point, I could care less about the pulls and more about this friggin' thing just staying in focus. That'd be a bonus. And uh, we've got a pack code off to the side. I'm gonna hook you guys up with that afterwards. I'm just, you know, Susie struggles here today. We've got a psychic energy, psychically foreseeing. My camera is not going to focus and I'm not going to pull anything. Uh, we got a Cedra, a Chameleon. We got that thing, sock it to ya. Togunumaru. We got a Wimpod and a Ratata and a Carp and a Reverse Hall of Simseer. <laughs> I will take it. I will take it, Tapu Finny GX. Thank you, kindly burning shadows. Alrighty then. Shadow Dragon Shields again. I like how it says Jet Matt, and I'm pulling out red sleeves. Boom. Bang. Echo, there it is. There it isn't. <sighs> Next. Last but not least, we got one pack of Hidden Fates left, and if the uh, ratios from these tins as of late lives up to the expectations, then we're not going to pull anything whatsoever out of this pack, but who knows? We'll leave it up to Arceus to decide for us. We've got a uh, Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff, right off the hop. Sorry for destroying your eardrums right there. We got a fighting energy, and then right off the hop, we got a Scyther, and we got a Magmar, and we got, it's out of focus. It really wants to focus on something up here, and I don't know what it is, but uh, hopefully spirits of Pokemon that are going to bless this pack right here. We got a Caterpie, I'm going to give up in a second right here. We got an Eevee, a Snake, a Charmander, a Reverse Hollow Metapod, and wouldn't you know, giving an analysis of my theory from the Hidden Fates tin and determining that it was absolutely correct. Well then. All right, so what do you guys think? Uh, Hidden Fates or Burning Shadows taking the win here, you know? Kind of hard to determine with the value just so close and everything, so... <clears throat> Not going to complain whatsoever from the pulls on our Hidden Fates side. I think this is the second Lucario I've pulled in a while, so... Not too shabby! Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I swear one day I'm going to pull a Rainbow Rare Charizard. I just keep telling myself that, regardless of me actually pulling it or not. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. What would you uh, preferably put your pokey coins towards? You know, some burning shadows or some hidden fates? Personally, I'm still on the hunt for the rainbow rare Charizard, so I'm always going to be super scooping up some burning shadows until I inevitably hunt down that wonderful orange fire lizard. Anyways, friendos, thanks for coming to kick it on today's episode with this total nerd right here. Uh, stay tuned. I've been doing a lot of live streams as of late, and I'm having a ton of fun doing them with you guys, so if you guys haven't uh, come around and kicked it like a dojo full of Hitmonlee on one of the live streams, I strongly encourage you to do so. If you guys wouldn't mind, you know, <laughs> Mega punching that like button and potentially clicking that little red square that would subscribe you to my channel. That'd be awesome! And if not, trust me, I totally understand. Anyways, let me know if you guys are enjoying these like value versus pack battles with these uh, individual sets and perhaps let me know what sets you want to see, you know, battle to the death of value. All right, I'm gonna go kick it on Rev's live stream now, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining me on yet another episode and supporting my absolutely ridiculous antics on this channel. And as usual, you guys train on, game on, stay epic, stay awesome. Most importantly, stay safe out there. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Anime Peace Sign.